here and additional configuration transactions which is blocking and deleting GL accounts okay, if you want to delete a GL account there are two ways of doing it one is you block the GL account which means that when you block it it's like uh, it's a temporary deletion meaning that the GL account will be there physically but no postings will be allowed to the GL account for example let me just if I block it if I block a GL account say for example uh, cash in bank let me change the company code the company code is pointing to something else here sun let's do it now I'm going to create a cash in bank account choose this choose this flag here to block it okay so once you have done it once you have done it if you try to post any transaction to the GL account the system will reject it okay instead of doing it in the Sun company code, let's do it in a uh, test company code because I don't want to mess up the Sun company code chart of accounts because we need it later. Uh, let me just change it to test 2. Okay, we have a uh, let me create a bank account. Let me just check what is a bank account cash in bank cash in hand okay supposed to be 2004 right the next available number is 2004 let's create it now yes Let's create it. It's a balance sheet account and it's current asset. Test bank account. Let's save it. I forgot to mention the field status group. I think the system will not allow me to save it. Let's mention the field status group. I should choose the bank accounts. Let me choose this. Okay, now it's done. Okay, it's saved. Let's copy it. Now we go to B fifty to post some transactions. let me just pause until it loads case loaded now ok I am going to use this state debit or credit doesn't really matter we are just going to test the uh, blocking of the GL account ok just use this 
Oh, the company code is Sun, right? We need to change the company code. It should be test two. Okay. Test bank account credit hundred. Cash in bank debit hundred. Let's simulate now. We need to enter the due date again. Just pause it until it compiles. Okay, I will also enter the due date. So simulate it now. So no problem, right? You can see the document simulation. That means all are correct. You can post it. But let I'm not going to post it now. I'm going to delete. I'm going sorry. I'm going to block this jail account. See how the system will behave. Need to go to block. This is a jail account, right? Choose the block. Block for postings. Alright. Block for posting. Okay. See how. Let me just also explain what is block for creation. If I select this indicator, that means uh, this jail account cannot be created for this company code alright this one we do it in the chart of accounts level not in the company code level meaning that uh, you have to do it here let me go here so records chart of accounts Okay, see here. If I go to block, oh, I need to release the block. Let me just quit this. I'm not going to save. Okay, let's go here in chart of accounts and I block it see I can see this check mark here if I click this then this this jail account cannot be created for any company code okay so we do this in the chart of account level see, therefore you can see the company code here if I put a tick mark here then if I try to create this jail account in the company code it will not be created so we are going to do that we're going to do the normal blocking change block why is disabled let me just check why it's disabled okay is enable back again okay I'm going to block it for posting in this company code save it now it's saved let me just go back to the simulation now let's do a simulation see what happens see this account 20004 task 2 is blocked for posting which means that you cannot post if you want to you can still unblock unblock the blocking to do that go to here block remove the check mark save it and you're done let me come back simulate you need to quit quit and come back so you would enter again the 
bit 100 100 let's simulate oh i need to enter the due date otherwise it won't allow me Now it's okay because I have already removed the blocking. Let me just show you if you have forgotten. I've already removed the blocking. See? That's how it works. And uh, deletion. Deletion of the GL account works in the same way but it's slightly different. Let's go to deletion. You set the delete flat. It will mark for deletion. If you choose this option, that means it is marked for deletion only at the company code level. So as long as you don't set this, another company code can still create this GL account. Can inherit. Can still inherit and create this GL account. So I'm going to delete only in the company code level. So I just save it. is deleted even though it's deleted this the account will still be there for this uh, company code okay see only the flag will be there uh, similarly if you try to post you'll say that this company code is deleted or something like that let me just check this flag for deletion so it's just a warning message Okay, so if you enter, you can still post simulated. So, which means that if you want to remove the the, the, uh, the GL account which is marked for deletion completely from the system, you have to archive the jail account okay let me show you okay you see this the jail account is only marked for deletion right you can still see the jail account in the jail account master data right so if you want to completely remove this jail account from the database so that you cannot see it at all and then you can use back the jail account number for to create another jail account you have to do a archival in order to do the archival you have to come to this general ledger periodic processing archiving and choose this object here this is specifically for GL accounts archival and you need to get your basis guide to do this archival for you so this screen is meant for basis so they will know how to run the archival once the archival is done using this screen any GL account which is marked for deletion will be completely deleted from the database so we will no longer see this account in the screen for this company code